Stitch number 21 is a bar tack. Now we just did the mending stitch. That was kind of a very similar thing. Now we also have the reverse button showing on screen and we're gonna show you how you can put a new little tack, but you can be at any length that you want. So if this is gonna be at a purse handle, you can actually do it much, much longer. Let me show you how you do it. The cool part of this is you just start to sew and it's gonna go ahead and stitch a stitch forward However long you sew, that's how long the bar tack is going to be. So when you get to where you want to be, touch the reverse button one time. Now you're going to need to push that again when you get back to the top. So keep an eye on where you started. So it's doing straight stitches back, but they're side by side. They're like railroad tracks as it goes back up to the beginning. So watch where we started. There it is. Touch the reverse button when you get back up to the top side. And now it's going to do a little zigzag over the two railroad tracks. So it's almost like they made a, a stability stitching line and now it's stitching a nice close together zigzag all the way down when you go ahead and get to the very end of your railroad tracks again touch the reverse button that'll tell the machine to go ahead and do locking stitches and cut the thread and lift the foot and that is a beautiful bar tack again any length that you want it to be